what my orders, Commander. Operation Seawolf. It's the American coast. You will leave with three ships. Seven more will join you when you are out to sea. We shall equip these rockets to our U-boats and attack New York City. You will lead the pack. Operation Seawolf is a go. Who's this? Senior Commander Heinrich Kessler, tight to command this wolf pack. He's a very dangerous man. Got nothing to lose. Hands up! You're wolves. These are not wolves, but boys. Are you prepared? I'm confident under the circumstances. Good luck, my friend. You are my second in command. You must obey all my orders without question. Is that clear? Yes, Captain. The whole crew is on your side. Men like Kessler, their time is passed. U-578 has started to engage. Who gives that order? Sir, multiple ships coming in fast. Battle stations. Fire! Hit them four. Ah! Sir, a convoy was just hit. Looks like you boats. I want all available forces on that spot. Nothing better than a wolf hunt. Operation Teardrop is a go. They're really going to let us hunt subs? Well, we are in the hunt. Incoming! We need to dive now. Prepare to dive. You put the lives of this crew in danger. You must decide whose orders you follow. Dive! Sir, something on sonar. Launch hedgehogs! They have just sunk three U-boats. The pack! There's more than one. One can sneak through. The U-boat's coming up alongside us, sir. Get on the surface guns. Blow it out of the water. On the U-boat, every man decides his own fate. Boom, there you go. That was the trailer for Operation Seawolf arriving uh, to theaters and on demand on October 7th and digital October 25th. I am Kuya P. This is Nerds Rule the World. And as you see on the screen, I have a special guest, Hiram Murray. How are you, sir? I'm good, brother. How you doing? I am well, man. Thank you for your time. I always love uh, showing love, giving love, exchanging creative energy with other actors, film creatives as well. Uh, especially when all. we're doing this marketing campaign to get the word out about our projects. So I know it full well as an actor myself, and uh, I'm I'm happy for your time, man, and appreciative of it. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So let's talk about uh, how it all came to be. How, how'd how you get down with Operation Seawolf? Uh, uh, tell me uh, how, like, the, maybe the size came to you auditioning, uh, getting the role, and what you wanted to bring to this character. So the role came to me, uh, the director, Stephen Luke, a uh, good friend of mine, and uh, we have a partnership. I've worked with him on maybe like four films now. And so he presented it to me. Um, he sent me the script, uh, told me about the character. I portray real life um, Samuel L. Gravy Jr., who is the first African-American uh, naval officer in Navy history. He's also the first African-American um, admiral in Navy history. And this role for me, it's special because in my real life, I'm a captain in the United States Marine Corps. So this guy, this, this is my forefather, okay? These are the shoulders that I stand on. You know, if it wasn't for him, there would be no hire May Murray. So it's, it's, this is a legend. This is, this is an honor to portray someone who paved the path for African Americans to 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 be officers in the military, so you know I this th there's no higher honor than to 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 pay homage to this man. Dude, I love what you're saying. First off, thank you for your service. Hey. I, I love it. <laughs> As a prior service guy myself, who was stationed on board the U.S. Samuel B. Roberts, whose creed was no higher honor. Respect on you saying that as well. Hey. And it's 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 <laughs> funny. Um, it, it, when I noticed and I booked this shout out to Katrina Juan PR, I love them, uh, who made this interview happen. Uh, in my day gig, uh, outside of what I do here as well, uh, I 
I'm over here in the DC area and I was at the Pentagon the other day and I was actually in one of the corridors where the Navy has their, you know, they, they have these like little informational things about right. different servicemen. And I was just passing Samuel Gravely's, uh, you know, uh, contribution and, and, and just listing there. And then to have this kind of lineup, it was Kismet uh, to yeah. talk to you portraying this uh, legend, you know, as a POC myself and just, I know what I experienced as a person of color in the military and what the generations before me, because I was fourth generation uh, serving. So uh, salute to you on that. And I, I just want to show love and respect uh, to uh, everything you're doing as an actor and everything you're doing also in service. That, it's beautiful. So tell me about, okay, you get the role. You're, like, you're, you're going to embody this man. Uh, what research you did and learning about him and what you wanted to bring to the table and, and what your character means to the greater story within Operation Sea Wolf. So, you know, I've heard about him, but I didn't know about his story. Like the fact that the ship that I command in the, in, in the film is the USS PC-1264. Now, when people watch this film, you know, they're like, oh, is this a woke film? You know, all black, you know, naval, you know, carrier, whatnot. Well, there were two, you know, at pr pr predominantly African-American uh, ships during World War II. And he happened to actually command this ship. Uh, fun fact, the ship that we actually shot on, did all my scenes on, was the USS Iowa uh, out in San Pedro. And he actually commanded that ship as well. Wow. You know? um, you know, like you walking through the halls, you know, like you have his presence, his ghost and everything like you have to represent, you know, hard because this this is his this is his ground. You're walking on on that sacred ground. You know, everyone that was there, you know, they're looking at you in uniform. And it's like, oh, my goodness. You know, there he is. Matter of fact, the parking spot that I parked in, you know, to film had his picture in it, you know. So, you know, I went when as I'm. As I'm filming this, you know, there, 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 there are certain things that I keep in, in the back of my mind. You know, I have to do right by this man and his legacy. I have to do right by our veteran community. I have to do right by the African-American community. And I just have to do right to represent for my cast members because this man laid the groundwork for all of us. So it was, it, it was just an honor. I had a pleasure doing it. You know, uh, another fun fact. My son got to play one of my sailors in, in, in the film. So, oh you know, my I, gosh, wow. <laughs> I had to show him how dad gets down at work as well. So, <laughs> that's dope. I love that. That's super cool. Man, what a, what an honor. What, ooh, something to share with the family and to oh, yeah. friends and oh, yeah. the next generation. That's, yeah. And it's so, uh, it's a weight that we as POCs have yeah. when we embody somebody that was uh you know a real life person you know uh playing somebody that had came before um and then but also just to get into the work itself and also create something new from a, an actor perspective i'm sure you you know you know that as well when what we're yeah. gonna bring to that table um did you at least have fun on set what was it like working with the rest of the cast and, and if you could share some set memories uh with, with some of the other people you've uh worked with on on the on the film Oh, uh, it was great. Dolph is great. Dolph, Dolph is my 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 childhood action hero, man. Like he, that had to be he was He Man, cool. you know. He, yeah. he, he was He Man. He, he was my first Punisher. He was Ivan Drago. You know, like growing up, I was I I, I did martial arts growing up, and I used to always watch Rocky Four to get me in the mood before a tournament or whatnot. So here I am, you know, watching this guy growing up, and now I'm sharing the screen with him. You know, Frank Grillo's cool, man. He's cool. In be in between takes, he would give me marriage advice. You know, he he's awesome. And then you know, just 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 being in that leadership position with with the young actors who played my sailors. You know, it brought me back to my Marine Corps days. You know, you know, being that officer and talking to to them because I instilled on them the 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 rich history behind who who they're portraying, who these characters were and, mm. and, and, and the responsibility, the responsibility behind doing these characters proud. Because the history behind it is Samuel Gravely, we were people of color. We were an experiment. He was part of a V-12 experiment the U.S. Navy started. You know, when, when, when we entered the Navy, you know, we were, we were given like maintenance jobs. We, we weren't, we weren't, thought of as, you know, oh, they can do well in combat, you know? It was, it's an experiment. Let's see how well they can do. And mm -hmm. we had to show up and show out. We had to be twice as good 
just to be looked at as, as equal, okay? And so we had to break records and break ground every single time we set foot on that deck in order to let them know that we belong here. So that is what is on your shoulders. That is what you encompass when you put on those uniforms, you know? So that's what I had to instill in them. And there were moments between filming that we would we would huddle up and we would exchange stories and I would tell them that. And then, man, oh, it just reminded me of, 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 you know, like just getting my Marines together and trading stories and telling them stuff like that. So I love that. The best times. Oh, yeah. The best I, times, man. I, I definitely feel that. I miss those times. Yeah. Um. Uh. Such such a blessing and such a, an honor that this is now going to start the conversation. People are going to ask who is about this man. Hopefully, after this film drops again, everybody. Let me remind everybody: October seventh in October theaters 7th. and and on demand, as well as October twenty fifth on digital. But now a new generation will learn about this amazing man. This yeah. story. Uh based on a, a true story that happened um it wasn't no, i think it was called sea lion operation sea lion operation, operation uh, sea well. lion and then the u.s's response to it was operation teardrop and yes that was that was them giving us the go to go get them <laughs> I, I dig it it's gonna just start the conversation which i think is what we want these films to do what do you you know what well th th let me turn that into a question what do you hope people leave with this beyond learning about this great man that you played and then i'm I'm also hoping though from a career standpoint as an actor people are gonna see the amazing Hiram murray and we're gonna get this man some more gigs let's get him in there <laughs> you know ultimately what i want people to understand is this that at the core what no matter what side you're on because let's don't 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 get me wrong. Yeah, I'm not. This ain't. This is not you rooting for Nazis. No, we ain't, we're not doing that. <laughs> okay. And at the end of the day, go USA. We won. Obviously, history. But commonalities. That's what I want people to walk away with. At at the core, we're all human beings, and there's commonalities. You have Hans Kressler, Kessler, played by Dolph Lundgren. You have a jaded, crusty old naval guy who has a mission he has a duty to, to 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 germany he has a duty to his men here you have me i have a duty to my country i have a duty to my men you know you being former military you know the same thing it doesn't matter what mission we get at the end of the day it matters what matters to us most is the men and women to our left and right mm. that's what we care about we don't you know yes we care about our mission but what's more important to us is getting our brothers and sisters home and that's and that's 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 at the core what this film is about it's what you know the decisions we make as commanders and leaders and 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 how it affects those men and women that follow us on both sides of the aisle both sides of wherever well i love it i'm so excited for you my friend um, I, I can't wait to watch this film with my 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 parents because they're big into war movies like this, and especially <laughs> ones that have like some grains of reality and uh, based on you know true events. So uh, I know we'll be sitting down with this, and I'll be sharing this experience. Um, Hiram, uh, congrats on this again, everybody. Check out Operation Sea Wolf when it arrives in theaters and on demand on October seventh, digital October twenty fifth. Um, right. How can the people that are fans of you that are fans of me that are now going to be fans of you because they're seeing you on here? How can they uh, support you in other any other projects that we want to sh show show some love and light to that we can see you in and or just how can we keep in touch with you online? So um, you can keep in touch with me online. I'm Hiram A Murray at Hiram A Murray across all social media platforms. Currently, I have a uh, show out right now with Chris Pratt, Terminal List on Amazon. Um, and my uh, next project right after this coming out is going to be Come Out Fighting. Dolph Lundgren's in that as well. And that tells a story about the first all African-American tank battalion. Oh, during let's war. go. Let's it stars go. myself, Tyrese Gibson, Michael Jai White, Kellen Lutz. That's going to be fire as well. So oh, I'm, I'm going to need it. We're going to need to get in touch with Nat Dross because I'm a little bit curious on that. My wife's grandfather was a Tuskegee Airman and an instructor uh, at the oh, Institute. God. And he was actually you know, shot down during the during the war. And it was a tank battalion that saved him out of the concentration camp that he was locked up in. 761st, Black Panthers, baby. You know, love that movie. Oh, my God. Hiram, <laughs> you just got me hype. We're going to have to talk. We're going to keep right. in touch. Uh, I can't wait to see that. You just got me hype about the, that that film now as well. Um, <laughs> truly a pleasure, Hiram. I will have all of your links in the description below. Y'all, check out my man Hiram. Follow him and check out Operation Seawolf when it arrives in theaters and on demand on October 7th, digital October 25th. Kuya P, Nerds of the World, my man Hiram Murray. We appreciate y'all and much love to Katrina Juan PR. Appreciate y'all right here.